How's it going everybody? Ecom Tommy with another video coming at you guys and be sure to smash that like button because first off I'm going to show you exactly how step by step I brought a brand new wholesale dropshipping store from zero to almost $10,000 in sales in the first 30 days. This account started with pretty much zero sales on it. There was a little bit of experience but I did bring it from zero all the way up to almost $10,000. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it, what software, what steps I took and everything that you need to know. So if you like the sound of this video like I said please be sure to smash that like button. Also be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and when you do be sure to hit that little bell notification so you get notified of videos like this every single week. And also, I do have a free wholesale dropshipping mini course down below if you want to learn more about wholesale dropshipping because it is what I think is going to be one of the biggest ways to be making money dropshipping in the future moving forward. And also be sure to check out my new Instagram that I dropped down below. I've been posting two posts on there every single day of new native content. So if you like the sound of this video, please be sure to stick around all the way into the end where I do show you a software that I almost have never talked about to anyone out there. And it's pretty much the backbone of my wholesale dropshipping store. Store. So let's go into my computer and I'll show you exactly the results. All right, so here we are inside of my store and as you can see, it says $9,200 in sales in the last 30 days. So first off, I had to take one day off because one of my programs got messed up and I had to refix everything. I had to take all my items down off my store. And also, secondly, it is rather early in the morning right now. So I only have $38 in sales on the day, but I do expect to get more over time. So I'm saying it's $10,000 in sales in the last 30 days. So this account was started up a little bit ago when I was making my wholesale dropshipping course, but I, and I ended up making some sales on it. That's why there's more in the last 90 days than in the last 30 days but in reality, this account was started from scratch uh, 30 days ago, and then from there, I just listed items, and there was really only about 600 items on the account from here until the, uh, what day is this, the 14th, and then I listed another 1,000 items on the account afterwards. And so altogether, there's 1,635 items on this store at the moment, and some of them were picked with Zik Analytics, some of them were not, some of them were just bulk uploaded using the software that I'll be talking about in the PowerPoint after this. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna show you exactly how much profit I made, exactly what programs I'm using, and how how to do so as well because as you can tell this is a new store how did I list so many items I'll go over that as well exactly how I did it and what tips and tricks I have for you guys so be sure to stay into my PowerPoint where I do show a software that I almost never talk about and I'll see you guys inside thank you all right, before I get into the PowerPoint, I just wanted to make sure that I showed you the profit sheet. This is my whole entire profit sheet laid out. I'm going to break down everything, you know, in the next PowerPoint slides. But what I wanted to show you is that this profit sheet pretty much just shows literally everything with zero bias or anything that I'm trying to cover up here. Like I even highlighted right here that there was a $800 item that I sold for a thousand some dollars, but I had to pay a ton of money in shipping costs because of the fact that I didn't realize that they were in Alaska and my shipping settings were set up wrong at that point in time. I even calculated the negative profits that come in with cancellations because PayPal does not give you back your PayPal fees. You know, every single time you can cancel an item, you do lose money. And then there was one item that I did actually lose money on. You know, the profit margins weren't the highest because this is a learning phase. This was a learning phase for a brand new supplier that I was using. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was as transparent as possible. And now we're gonna make sure that we go forward and look into my PowerPoint where I break everything down for you. So let's check that out. All right, so here we are inside of my PowerPoint. Like I said before, please be sure to smash that like button. Also subscribe to this channel and hit that little bell notification button to get notified every single time I drop a video multiple times a week. And I do have a question for you guys before we get started. Have you started your wholesale dropshipping journey yet? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't, also let me know what is holding you back. So let's get into it finally. The overview, there was 143 orders on that sheet that I just showed you guys over the last 30 days. The average order cost was $59.43. So there's some expensive ones. There was also a lot of cheap items in there. So you know, it did average out to that. And this was without shipping. This was just the cost of the item itself, not shipping, not sales tax. That's just, you know, going straight up item price. There was three canceled orders. That basically was just people that wanted, that bought the wrong item or they didn't want it or whatever the reason was. Was, you know, these were a lot of marine parts. Like I said, this whole entire one, what this whole entire store was run off of the, the wholesale supplier that I've showed in multiple other videos called CWR distribution or electronics or whichever name they're going by that day. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of different parts and pieces and stuff where people, you know, are hemming and hawing over if it was the right one or if they got the wrong one. So that's why there, there can be some cancellations there. There was one negative price uh, profit order. And I'm assuming that was just because of slow repricing because of the fact that after the order was ordered, I checked back later and I do have auto ordering set up and I'll explain that as well. I checked back later and the price had actually already jumped to its new price where it would have been profitable if it sold at that price. 
So I'm assuming what happened was that the re repricing was too slow, maybe a couple minutes or whatever, the person was you know, opportunistic and capitalized at the right point in time. But I do believe it was only for like negative $2 or something. It was like, or negative 80, 80 cents, I, I forget. But it was not that big of a negative profit. And then this is the profit from the sales. So basically, let's break down the profit from the sales. It's $806.64. If you check in the last, or how I showed you earlier, there was about $9,200 in sales. You have to realize that um, I did 806 divided by 9,200, it's 8.7% profit, but technically it is higher than that because you have to realize that first off, there was a couple canceled orders and the overall profit for what I'm selling the items for is gonna be higher than that. There was one negative profit order, but also the mistake that it was like $80 shipping to Alaska when usually it was only uh, seven or so dollars. So I really didn't make that much money on that item. So there was a couple of mistakes. So mistakes obviously made the profit lower. Me, you know, having not really used this supplier as much in the past, or at least, you know, full blown using them uh, on a brand new store, I did mess up a couple settings right off the bat. That's why I had to take down my items for a bit. And that's why a couple of them sold for negative profits and also lower profits until I adjusted them later on down the road. Also the fact that I didn't have 1600 items up listed the entire 30 days. It was only like 600 items for a little bit. Then I uploaded another 1000. And the fact that when there's $9,200 in sales, eBay calculates into that the sales tax. And sales tax is not something that you I, I paid or took in. You know, I, I collected it because eBay collected it for me for the most part, and then I remitted it. So it's pretty much a take in and a giveaway. Technically, it was around 10% profit if we wanted to actually get into the nitty gritty of it. But again, over time, I, I definitely expect that to go up just with more items, more experience with the supplier. And then also calling up the supplier, I did also manage to get in contact with somebody that I do expect to be able to give me cheaper shipping prices. I mean, not shipping, just item prices later on down the road. So those are all techniques you need to take into consideration. The marine um, industry is usually a lower margin industry from everything that I've been told and everything that I've experienced. So items listed, there were 1,700 items bulk uploaded. So again, 1,700 items bulk uploaded and you know about $800 or so in profit for the first month is not bad at all. You know, it's a proof of concept and you can start adding in new suppliers, more items from that supplier, other suppliers with more items, and you know, start to really take it to the next level. And that's what I'm working on at the moment. So I wanna talk about the software I use. So basically I never really talked about this software before on, uh, on YouTube whatsoever. So this is pretty much the first time I've unveiled it to the public in a video setting like this. I think I've mentioned it a few times on a live. So the stock and inventory software is called Inventory Source. Inventory Source is a program strictly for wholesale dropshipping that we teach mainly exclusively inside of our wholesale dropshipping course. Like I said, if you are interested in getting started with wholesale dropshipping, check out the free course down below. And also if you're interested in the course, have any questions on it, just don't hesitate to ask me whatsoever. So Inventory Source has interesting pricing plans. So I wanna talk about the software I used and the price that it costs. So they have something called full automation. <clears throat> it's $150 per month base. It includes inventory automation and that's on demand. So pretty much anytime there's a change, it actually updates that right away. So the one time that there was that mistake or the negative profit, it must have just been that it was extremely quickly in between the, you know, maybe minute or two that it takes to actually update. At that point, it has auto slash one click order processing. So it's actually for a CWR, it is auto ordering. So I did not have to order any of these items myself. You know, once I got it set up, I think I did the first like couple by hand. Um, and then once I got it set up, I was good to go. Everything was fine. Works pretty much autonomously on its own. Sometimes if the address is messed up or something like that, then you know, you have to go in there and actually manually order it yourself. There's a multi-supplier split order routing. Again, I don't really deal with any of that because there's only one supplier. Auto sync shipment tracking. So it literally auto uploads tracking numbers for you. Uh, negates the need for TrackerBot. Also, the supplier is not covered in TrackerBot if you do use TrackerBot at all. So that doesn't really matter. And then another cool thing about it is that it covers multiple suppliers. I think each supplier after that 150 is like, if you wanna add another one in, it's only $25 a month. So if I wanted two suppliers, then it would be 175 a month altogether. Again, I do have a coupon code down below. Check that out. I believe that's gonna get you 20% off nonstop, recurring over time. And you know, that's uh, it's a pretty big deal considering this software can get a little pricey. But again, 1700 items listed, I did $800 in profit. This supplier has like 25,000 uh, items itself. I can upload all of those. Also not to mention at this very point in time, I'm not sure what time you're watching this video, eBay does have a 50,000 free item listing uh, going on because of the, uh, you know, like a stimulus package because of COVID-19. So all of the listings that I put up were actually free. 
so I didn't have to worry about that. So the sourcing software, I did use a bit of Zik Analytics. Uh, that was just for a bit. Again, I did not use any virtual assistants on this account. This was all run by myself. I, I didn't, I used Zik Analytics for a little bit, found some items. I then decided to say, screw that, I'm gonna make an item sourcing robot. So that's why this little robot is right here. This is decently advanced, but again, it wasn't that challenging to do. If you look up the program Octopars, it's free for a small limited amount of plan. Um, and you can actually create robots that scrape the web. So what I would do is I would put a person that I knew was drop shipping the supplier that I wanted to use, CWR. And at that point in time, I put them into Zik Analytics. I got their store and then I used Octopars to scrape every single item out of their store. And then I used other code to, you know, get the specifics out and then actually just match it to the supplier's just inventory sheet. So it was pretty quick. That's how I got all these items so quickly. And you know, that's pretty much why it was so easy to get done. You can bulk upload using inventory source. Um, so nothing was really manual whatsoever. So I'm sure there's a lot of questions that are coming with something like that. So please ask them down below. I'm sure you have a lot. The total software cost is about 175. And again, the 175 is going to cover whether I upload, uh, you know, 5,000 more items, 10,000 more items. It's only going to scale and become more profitable from here. So techniques that I utilized, I want to tell you guys the exact techniques that I used. I used bulk sniping off of other stores with Zik Analytics, created a bot to scrape people's sold items. So again, a lot of these people are doing the same method I am. They have like CWR, a couple other maybe marine suppliers, other suppliers out there, electronic suppliers, and they're pretty much bulk uploading, you know, thousands, tens of thousands. I've seen people with 100,000 plus listings onto their store. So they're selling a lot of items that are, you know, just kind of random. At that point in time, scraping their store with a robot makes a lot more sense than, you know, really trying to niche down and find the nitty gritty good items and stuff. It's just a lot easier to, to bulk find items. So find good wholesale suppliers. That was one thing I did right off the bat when I found CWR, I really liked them in the long run. And again, I really haven't used them too, too much. I made some videos about them, but you know, this was the first like month that I really just like niched down and used them and really tried to figure out everything about them. So they can be just as good as retail suppliers, I realized. Everything that a wholesale supplier has, as long as it's a good wholesale dropshipping supplier, should be pretty damn equivalent to what a retail supplier like, you know, using a Walmart onto, onto eBay would do. You know, they have fast shipping, faster handling time than any other handling time I've seen out there. I could probably qualify for top rated plus, which is another thing that I plan on doing in the future. They get out their items within like a couple hours of you actually ordering it and it's auto ordering. So again, you have to realize the biggest issue in the past with getting items out on time is if you're not sitting there with your retail drop shipping store is that, you know, you need to have virtual assistants ordering them they're in a different time zone, 12 hours off. You know, maybe your item got ordered at 7 a.m. your time, but doesn't actually get processed until like 8 p.m. You know, your time uh, later on that day, you know, early in the morning for the virtual assistance time. And then, you know, it doesn't actually get out until like two days from then because it was ordered so late that night. You need to realize that that's a thing. And to, you know, the auto ordering really does actually help a lot with that. They offer competitive pricing and a great return policy. I haven't been hit with a restocking fee yet on any returns and the returns did come in afterwards. Shipping prices are variable. You need to keep that in mind. So one of the biggest things I realized about them is that they have a flat shipping fee of $7.95 if you want. They call it best way shipping. But they also have smaller items that can go USPS first class. USPS first class is usually cheaper than $7.95. So I split items up between first class and between not first class so that I could put the proper shipping policies on there so that I can actually be competitive on the cheaper, lighter weight items. Just pretty much a technique I use is you wanna check out the inventory source suppliers list, find a good supplier, test it out. If it's good, snipe other people that are selling from that supplier, bulk list and repeat. So that's pretty much what I'm in the process of at the moment, finding new suppliers, listing their items and whatnot. So there's gonna be some key differences. What are the key differences between wholesale and retail dropshipping? First off, when I uploaded these items onto my wholesale store, not a single item was optimized whatsoever. I didn't put in item specifics and I didn't do any title optimization. I really wanted to see how many sales I could do with uh, you know, a certain thousand amount of listings without optimizing whatsoever. So it's pretty much a basic title no item specifics between besides like UPC and uh, you know brand because you have to do that. Besides that, that was it. Bulk uploading did occur. I literally did bulk upload all of these items. You know, I didn't physically manually list a single one, and uh, some items were most likely not targeted, like I say right here. And I did use API-based software. Inventory Source is API-based stock and inventory monitoring software. But you have to realize this is for wholesale suppliers. If you look at API, the API terms of service that eBay has, 
for retail dropshipping, they say you cannot use API to reprice in stock um, items based off of you know items from a retail or a supplier or a marketplace and other things about retail, but this is wholesale. Some of the ways that I think that they would be able to tell the difference is first off the what what actual software I'm using. Also the fact that you know just bulk uploading is a little bit different. They're definitely scraping for tracking numbers that could be like Amazon's and stuff like that for retail. And that's why people are getting in trouble. That's mostly why I think I did not get in trouble. Also the fact that, you know, there's gonna be less updates, specifically with pricing. Stocks do change a decent amount, but pricing does not change that much or pretty much at all with wholesale suppliers. And so far, I've noticed because of all this, there's less customer service altogether because these items aren't being uploaded with, you know, uh, specific titles or item specifics or anything like that, that could possibly have your, your virtual assistant could mess up on or anything like that, that could mislead the person when buying it that would lead to a return later on down the line or questioning or comments or concerns. There's really, it also could have been the niche, you know, like the whole, the wholesale marine niche might be, you know, some hardy dads out there that really don't complain about things. But either way, there was a lot less customer service. So what are some key takeaways right here? I hope you guys have been enjoying this video, by the way. I do know that it is a long one, but I do want it to be as, you know, in-depth and explanatory as possible. The wholesale dropshipping model is a very viable business model. Like I said, you can make sales right off the bat, you can bulk upload, you can use API software. It's everything that you wanted from Amazon to eBay dropshipping, except legal on, e on eBay's platform, Amazon's platform, any platform out there, you know, much more sustainable in the long run. And you know, it, it, it works over time. It's only gonna get better over time when you're building relationships with these suppliers, they're most likely going to cut you a break and you're gonna get better deals over time. You need to think about that in the long run for this business. Scaling faster will come with bulk uploading more items. So the more items that I bulk upload, again, I have 50,000 free listings and so do you until July of 2020. I highly suggest you take advantage of those. And I have like 20,000 items ready to go and I'm going to be uploading them. So reinvest your profits as much as possible. So from here in the future, when I need to actually pay for a store subscription higher than a, a basic store, be advantageous with how many items I have, I'm gonna reinvest into an anchor store subscription, new suppliers, figuring out new suppliers, you might have to pay for some of them, anything like that. And then also virtual assistants. I'm gonna have virtual assistants running it. I just didn't want to and it was easy enough for me to do it and you know it's a little humbling as well because i haven't done it for for a long long time and you always want to be testing out great suppliers so i've already found some new ones that i want to be implementing i've already found great items for them again i really just wanted to make sure that i hit about ten thousand dollars in sales in the first 30 days with this supplier so I can make a video about it and then move on to other suppliers, honestly. So that's where I'm at right now. Check out our free mini course down below. You know, if you are interested in wholesale, again, my business partner, Jason, has a lot more experience than I with it, but I am taking it very seriously and I do see the benefits of it as a business model. I have not quit retail dropshipping, but I do think that wholesale is going to be a lot more long-term and sustainable in the future. Specifically, if there's any rule changes, I don't see any in the future that eBay is coming out with, but if there is, you know, then it could possibly affect retail dropshipping, where wholesale dropshipping has been pretty much guaranteed to be good across the board for a long time. So that's about it. In conclusion, please post your questions down below. I'm sure there's a lot about what software I'm using, how I created a robot to scrape my store or to scrape other people's stores. You know, anything about that, let me know down below. Don't be afraid to ask questions about this business model. No question's a stupid question, only the ones that you don't ask. Keep that in mind. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell notification to be notified every single time I post a video like this. So I hope you, you know, got some inspiration from this. We've had students that bought the wholesale course that followed the methods that we teach with inventory source just like this. And they're doing a couple thousand, thousand plus, uh, I think uh, 5,000 is the highest I've seen so far. It's a newer course you know, from students that are doing pretty much exactly what I'm doing at the moment too. So they're getting started, they're taking action, and they're the ones that are reaping the rewards, seeing the results, and getting the benefits over the long run. So again, very viable business model. I was very happy with the way that this, with the, the results of this, and pretty much just going to be taking it to the next level. So keep in mind that there's probably gonna be a video of 25, 30, 40, 50,000 dollars with wholesale. Be ready for it, and I will see you then. Thanks, guys.